yeah, so I've relabeled this episode and the last episode to Mars Special. Now, JJ, I don't know whether you can hear this or not, but uh, the Gaming Beast has made a little bit of a boo-boo with his uh, mod pack. Um, if you travel to Phobos or Deimos, it just takes you to Mars. Actually, the, the two moons at this current stage, he says, is not working properly and is an error on his part. So while we're th thinking that we're playing around on the other moons, and we did that poll the other day as to where we're going to go next, fate and the universe has taken us to Mars instead. So every time we go to either one of those two moons... It's just taking us straight to Mars. So everything's now relabeled as the Mars specials because we are essentially in, in that in that space anyway. Um, and once he gets that element fixed, you know, within the game itself, then we can then go and have a look on the moons uh, as well. But uh, for now, we're, we're, we're working on Mars. So we have our uh, base that we set up last episode on Mars. Uh, and if you guys can remember, if you were here at the end of the last stream, made a bit of a wowzer because um, as I was leaving to come back to the overworld, uh, a creeper blew up me whilst I was sat in my ship ready to take off and uh, killed me, but the ship took off without me. I respawned on the overworld. It was a complete mess. I rolled back the, the backup again, and uh, this is us kicking off from that rollback with a couple of additional things that I have done before we go. So just looking in my inventory here, I have made an oxygen compressor so we can go and um, fill up our oxygen tanks over on Mars. That was essential. Got these two um, oxygen canisters that we are taking because I had learned that uh, the reason why I couldn't get the um, self-sustaining oxygen working correctly over on Mars was because I just didn't have an oxygen pipe set up correctly. So that needs to that needs to be done there. I've got a couple of batteries to take with us. I've got these um, upgrade packs for the chests that we've got up on Mars. I'm going to take this tool forge with us as well in case I need to fix any of my tools whilst we're up there. In fact, I probably should grab some iron because that is the major constituent for our tools at present. So that can go there, that can go there. JJ21B, hello, how's it going today? Good, mate. Did you hear all of my blurb a few moments ago? Um, I hope you hope you picked up some of it, um, at least. If not, um, maybe scan back two or three minutes on... Um, you did, fantastic, fantastic. Um, so yeah, I've brought a tool forge with us. I've got some iron ingots. They're coming with us. Bring in a wind turbine because solar is a is a nightmare on Mars. And and this is another thing that's kind of annoyed me uh, about the gaming beast. And I shouldn't moan, but I am English, so it is in our in our genetics, and I'm gonna do so, whether you like it or not. Gaming beast, if you ever listen to this, um, wind power is possible on Mars. It has winds, so I don't see why a windmill on Mars is a problem. I know you say that the windmill itself is OP, but uh, I'm taking one because yeah, it's true to real life. Um, and solar sucks over there for some reason. We're just not... I've got the advanced solar kit and it's pulling the, the smallest amount of power in. So uh, that's on you, buddy. I'm doing what I want now. Arcana says, what a coincidence. I'm also wind powered. My creeper agrees. My creeper. My my uh, my wowser man agrees with you there, Mister Arcana King. Anyway, we're going to go back to Mars then, and I know JJ, you missed the um, the journeys to the heavens last time. So this one, we kick off going straight there. I think I've got everything we need. So let's get our little bottoms on the ship and get going. How was Phobos? Phobos was a wells out, mate, because it doesn't exist. The gaming beast has has, um, has made a mistake with his mod pack, and it doesn't work. Yeah, so you didn't you didn't hear my speech at the beginning. So what I was basically saying was, and hello, led the goat. Thank you for being here, my friend. Um, nice to see you. Um, if I go to Phobos, it only takes you to Mars. So it sits in the. I'll show you actually. I will demonstrate exactly what happens. So, in the ship, hit the go button. I hope that blizz doesn't shoot me and kill me uh, before we go. Um, but if you go, to, if you try and go to either Deimos 
or FOMOs. It literally just sits there for ages in the um, in the star map, and then and then you just end up going to Mars anyway. So I I, I mentioned it to him. He says it's a bug and he's going to fix it. Um, so for now, we can only go to Mars and look out the window at Phobos and Deimos as it hangs aloft in the skies. Yeah, Mars it is. So I've changed all of the titles to all of the episodes and, and what we did yesterday and and everything to, uh, to to Mars instead of Phobos. We will go there in the future, but um, not until he fixes it, basically. So yeah, there's, there's Mars, Deimos, Phobos. We can't go to either of those. In fact, if I try and go there, it literally just sits in this menu for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages. Makes me nervous that the game has crashed when it hasn't. And then eventually it kicks us into Mars anyway. So uh, I'm going to land in and hopefully we are not inundated with mobs again because that just seems to be the situation. We've got a few mobs around. Don't tell them that we're here. I don't want to be creepered whilst we're landing. So here we go. We're landed inside this pit. I had a really good land yesterday, right outside the front door. Uh, let's grab our launch pad and our rocket and get our little bottoms out of this hole. And the first thing I need to do is I need to get the oxygen working in the uh, in the biome here. Uh, ah, a door. That's what I needed. I'll have to make a door in a second. This one can go. Sit on it, mate. Spin on it. Get out of here. He's got more. That was that was startling. We're gonna start our adventure with some uh, wanton killing, by the looks of things. Um, I also need to get the windmill set up. So get out of here, Mr. Zombie. Any more creepies around? No. So windmill. We'll go windmill here. That's the wrong way round. How are you, Led the Goat? Hope you're well. This is your uh, first time joining us. We are playing modded Minecraft. Uh, we are playing a mod pack called Steve's Galaxy Reborn, where we are in control of our destinies. The Earth has been uh, uh, decimated by a cataclysmic event which has led to the um, to the decimation of all other life forms apart from uh, zombies on that planet. Um, all grass is, is dead and, and, and everything is practically nothing. And our job is to restore everything back to, back to a habitable state. Um, and we can venture into the skies uh, and beyond in this mod pack. So here we are on Mars, building ourselves a little Mars base going to go and seek out the dungeon boss here at some point and um yeah and get ourselves kind of advancing in this mod pack itself um so i'll just show you as well um jj what we've been up to over here actually before i start doing that let's get our rocket ready to roll again yeah latest death was here because uh that creeper blew me up as we were trying to escape Launch pad is down. Tier two rocket is down. Um, got no fuel to load, and I think we've got our our fuel or our oil can. Yeah, there it is in there still. So that's good. Right, I'm going to box this up a second, and uh, I need to get this working. So what we've got going on here, then we've got these um, sealable oxygen pipes that essentially we'll be piping oxygen down through this section here over here uh, and then up into the bubble distributor um, the thing i was missing in the last episode was a little oxygen pipe there so i need to pop one in because we weren't getting any oxygen from the collector back into the system here once i had it set up so that was a bit of a blunder on my part so that goes there like that uh, that will collect oxygen as well as we are generating it. Um, in fact, something's already happening here, which is quite good. 
um yeah we didn't have enough oxygen there to kind of power the whole thing anyway uh, but this should have power now which it does we need to be making 160 oxygens per second uh, this is currently only make well it's making nothing at the moment because it has no power so let's power that back up like so so that's now active it's only collecting six per second at the moment so uh, i need to sort that out but is everything powered that's powered you don't need power you're powered power's coming in it does look a bit dirty here but um that's just the way of it now you're probably thinking well how are you going to get oxygen in the first place so i brought a couple of oxygen tanks with us from the overworld uh, and then we're just going to spam a bunch of these leaves about to get the oxygen uh, collector bringing in more than six if we can get that up to above 160 then we are making more oxygen than we are distributing so that's the plan let's go for it so that should make our bubble expand we'll just give that a moment to um, fill the room up a little bit and then it's literally a case of spamming the heck out of these grass blocks these um, leaf blocks how's everyone doing today i hope you're all good happy friday to you all uh, it's almost saturday for you jj and also for you as well arcana i hope you've both had wonderful fridays leaf floor is a great idea actually that is a great idea it will save a lot of space in here um but i kind of i'm nervous about about that i put a bunch around the, the top and actually i didn't feel like i was getting enough of it into the collector here so um right now we should be what's the problem we've got oxygen in not enough power again we got a power problem. What's the problem? We've got no power coming through this cable for some reason. So we got power to here, but um, for some reason it's stopping at this point. Why? Why, why, why? Well, now it gets to there. Right now it's going in, although it's not working here. I'm finding that I'm, I'm experiencing a lot more glitches um, further into the game I'm getting. Um, so that should have no reason why that's not pumping power and yet it was there we go so that's now fixed the power is going in and it's stopping here so let's re-channel this again By the power of Grayskull, VJS other name has arrived. Everybody, a round of applause for VJS other name. Um, we hope he is grand on this grand old day. Let's go this way this time. Try and keep it as straight as we can. Right, power is going in. Power is definitely going in. And now we are getting... I'm just going to use that oxygen real quick, like. But the power is going in. Are you powered? You better be. Right, so you're powered. Everything is now powered. Right, so let's use our last oxygen tank to get the bubble out. It's Friday. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday. It's actually, it's the end of Friday for JJ and uh, for Arcana. So, lamentation for them. They have spent their Fridays and ours just begins. Uh, 
Uh, VJ, I'm just fixing the mess I made in the last episode when we crashed our ship. Well, I didn't crash the ship. I died in the ship, didn't I? As we were trying to escape. That's the wrong thing. Why can't I place these blocks? What's the problem? We've got power. Is it because we don't have... Because we've got a gap? What's, what's wrong now? We've got oxygen in, and now we're losing it. Uh, we've got power in, and we're losing it. We've got... Yeah, no, but we were, we were rocking like this last episode, JJ, and there was absolutely no reason for this. Um, so frustrating. Yeah, yeah, very odd indeed. So I've just basically spunked the oxygen that we had. So that's now empty. And that disappeared. And that, that happened. So this is this is it. It's getting major glitchy up here now. So I've lost my canister. Oh yeah, and then it starts taking my armor off. So I had this problem last time too. Stick that back on there. Um, how did I fix that again? I think I had to break this. And then put it back. Game's not kind. Well, yeah, not to me and, and everyone, essentially. So anybody will be experiencing this same situation. I guess, in a way, it's a great way for the gaming beast to learn how his game operates. But I know full well he's not watching any of these videos. So a um, bit of a shame on his part because there's a lot he can be learning here. So I've got to go back to the overworld again and fill these two guys up. Um, power is, is working. Um, there should be no reason, once the bubble is distributed, that uh, we can't place more of these leaves blocks because that's what we were doing last time and it was absolutely fine. We didn't need to have a sealed environment, but I did it anyway. Um, so yeah, we are, we are, we're wowsing out already. I'm wowsing out. But don't worry, we will fix it. And this isn't Deimos base either. We need to rename this. Let's just delete it. From existence that death can go as well and we want to create a new waypoint and say Mars colony one change the color to blood red for Mars that would do us well, I'm not happy about it being there but okay um, yeah that's frustrating so I can't in even eat in here at the moment either because we've got no oxygen distribution Anyway, power cables can go in there. Um, we brought this up. I, I can upgrade these chests really quickly. How do I do that? I think I just have to uh, baboom it like that. Baboom it again. Upgrade. Upgrade. There we go. So we've got plenty of storage space now. Um, so we leave up here these batteries, which are empty. Oh, I made an oxygen compressor, although that's pretty uh, redundant at the moment because we don't have oxygen being made. I think this might be a good spot for it. No, it needs to be the other way around. Of course it does. Of course it does. Where is it? There it is. So this way round. Um, power's on the left and O2 on the right. Stick it down here. So it gets the it's getting the oxygen from that. That should be fine. And then we'll just get the power cable in 
Here. Right, so that's powered. Powered, yet... Oh, it's getting oxygen. So that measly little six um, per second that we're getting from this little bit here um, is going straight into that first. Which I'm okay with, because worst case scenario, if I needed to chuck one of my oxygen tanks in there for a little bit of O2, we can do that. And then once that's filled, it should then go to here. Although I've got that going back out again. So through that system there, it should be going in and out. Although I feel like there should be a better way of doing that without needing to put all of these oxygen pipes in. Let's try something a second. Tidy this up a little bit whilst we're here. So this guy can go... like that and then we will I wonder if I've got any of the uh, the blocks left no I don't and then we'll just stick one of those pipes there so that shoots it back out again and then we've got a bit more space around here I like having this up here on this pillar because then it's getting the whole biome the whole biosphere whatever you want to call it uh, there could be a better way of organizing this power, but um, yeah, let's do that real quick. I can go under. We didn't have enough cables last time, which is why it's like this, but um, now we do because I brought more with us. So we'll go down instead. Chop those ones out. And then there is no need for this one or this one. All right, you've still got power. You've got power. You've got power. You don't need it. It's just the oxygen distribution now. All right, Toolforge can go there. That can go there. Chuckle this stuff back up because we've got to go back to uh, the overworld to fill up these guys. Um, batteries can go in. In fact, before I do that, stick that up as well. You guys go up. Hopefully we don't have creepers hanging out outside. So you're doing great at 384 RF per. Oh shit. There was a creeper. Swearing again. We're swearing loud and hard. Get a little step out there. And uh, you mentioned a door, so let's get a door on this biz. Let's do it like this. Got the iron with us. Let's get an iron door. And then a couple of buttons. Try and make it a bit more like, oh, you can't hardly see that.
No, that's not right. There we go. Let me back my button. All right, why is that? There we go. Okay. This is the power thing, so I think this is where we can charge our batteries. Yes, it is. Ready to go back to Earth where you can eat? Yeah, I know. I'm right down low, aren't I, on, uh, on the good stuff. I think this needs to be filled back up again, so... Um, refine my juice. And then fill my juice. base when we can have it right next to the thing it needs to fill up. We are not here to creepers, remember? Right, give me the juice. Give me... We were doing this yesterday, JJ, with like a fraction of power coming in from the solar panels at night. Uh, and literally getting like the smallest scrap of like fuel and then filling this up bit by bit. It was taking ages, but we got there in the end. That's a full battery. So we'd have some backup batteries just in case we ever need it. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see. Right, backup batteries go in. Don't need that with us, we don't need that, we don't need that. That goes with us. Uh, they come with us. So that's just filling up. I don't think one canister does the whole thing. I think it gets to about 70 or 80 percent before we need to do a second one. Well, see, now we're traveling further from Mars. It's uh, it's a bit more juicy. Sixty-six. It does two thirds. In fact, it might be smart to literally fill this thing up and then get more oil bring that back as we are going through it uh, fluid pipes I know you're about to tell me if I put fluid pipes here it automates all of this and you are right but I didn't I didn't make that thing that you showed me last time so we are doing it by hand, bailing it in and making the fuel and then putting it into a can and then you know the rest. VJ says hydrate. I will in a second. There we go. So that's uh, that. That's full up. We'll stick that in there. Put that in there for the future one, and then that should be enough to fill that one up. We'll take this guy with us. Jump in there, check the fuel. We have enough. So let's go back to uh, back to the overworld. If VJ told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? No, Arcana, I would not do it, and I would hope that he would never make me do something stupid like that. Um, 
fact, I distinctly remember times in our in our past where he's told me not to do something, and I've ignored him and done it anyway at the risk of my own life. So uh, he is the voice of reason, not the bad voice. But you told me to drink some H2O earlier, and I did exactly as you demanded and commanded. But I will drink something because I've got a bit of a dry throat today. I blame that three-hour stream we did yesterday. Would you shout brain off a bridge? Hell yes, I will. Yes, I will. Braining off a bridge is real and needs to be done by everybody. At least five times in their, uh, in their lifetime. So whenever you're driving in a car... Um, or... Just walking as a foot passenger over a bridge. Shout brain as you do it. There's no finer feeling than shouting brain off a bridge. <laughs> oh god, that's mad. That is mad. Alright, we will fix this oxygen problem. And then we'll go looking for the dungeon. And I think I've found a spawn where we're nowhere near it. So we've got some traveling to do. Uh, we'll be getting that good old voxel map out again, uh, JJ, that you uh, very kindly taught us how to use that one time. Lo and behold, we have zombies on the doorstep. You guys will never, ever give up, will you? I've got zombies on the moon, I've got zombies on Mars, and I've got zombies here on the overworld, and always, you guys, are a burden to me. I hate you all. Right, oxygen. Do you speak it? There's times he's done stuff, and I told him off after. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's what I was saying. Uh, the Wowser Man is more likely to be a, um, a a biographical version of me, if I'm honest. <laughs> it came from somewhere, uh, after all. Oh, God. Don't throw your cans down there. Now it's stuck in this, like, small vivisection between the between the pipes. Damn it. All right, there we go. Uh, no, it's still there. Got it. Let's try that again. All right, you're full, so you don't need refilling, and you go in there. That's the problem. And then you go back up there, fill that boy up. Uh, these guys are full now. Aren't you? Yes, you are. You'd think having two would be enough. Turns out it never is. Right, remind me guys to get that can out there before we go back again. This should be filling up with fuel. Let's check it. Stopped at 11. Why did you stop? There's fuel in there. Is it because I need to take it out and put it in? Take it out, wiggle it about, put it back in again. bucket with us because we're going to need it and go and get ourselves a quick sleep that's full up so don't need to remind me to do this anymore guys i think yep yep good enough 
we definitely want to be going back to Mars in the daytime because look at this. Never ending. The doors are closed. How did he get in there in the first place? Someone let him in. That villager is... Oh no, the door is open. That villager is just... Chatting him up. Chatting him up. I think I'll leave him to it. Nice little burn. We'll go and get some more oil, and then we will we'll go back again to Mars and see if we can see if we can fix the oxygen problem. See if I can fix the oxygen problem that I have created for myself. Grab some more food. From our wall of flesh here. Well, guys, the weekend is upon us. Any big plans this weekend for anybody? Let me know in the chat what you are planning to do, if you have any plans, that is. Arcana, are you back to chores again? The weekly chores that never seems to end for anyone ever. Washing, ironing, cleaning, shopping. Stream with my bro, says VJ. Uh, then clutch change the car. Are you doing the clutch change yourself? Or are you taking it to a man or men or people uh, who can do it um, in, a, uh, in, a, in a mechanical environment? I am too cheap to pay another person to do it. Uh, I think there's a lot of... Um, merit in that though mate because you will know obviously how to change the clutch in your vehicle i i just heard that it's a bugger job to do because uh you need to get right um you need to get that clutch cable right in and under and you know going in all the right spots uh -huh. you drown Someone's shooting, though. Oh, it's you. Right, you guys won't push me in the oil this time. Never again. learned our lesson I never learned my lessons what am I talking about um, clutch cable question mark I got proper hydraulics yeah well there you go it's just a good example of what little I know about um, cars and whatnot I would have assumed it would be a, a clutch on cable job but uh, obviously you've got a nice nice old Mazda um, obviously, which is using a hydraulic system instead. He's got a sports car. Do you mind me telling the, uh, the, the, the chat what you have, VJ? Obviously, I won't give away your license plate or anything, but, um, I'm a fan. Not forward to benching the six-speed gearbox. I thought you hated them. I don't hate them. I have no, I have no hatred for for what you have. Every time you put a video, actually, it's, I, I won't be doxing you at all because you've got videos of you driving that thing on YouTube. But um, our friend VJ here has an RX-7 and um, I'm a huge fan of the Mazda RX-7. I would never own one myself because of the sheer amount of maintenance required to look after a uh, rotary engine vehicle. But um, I think it's great that you've got one. 
Oh, RX-8, sorry. It's an RX-8, not an RX-7. I always used to own Mazdas exclusively. And um, I'm actually driving something completely different this time around. But yeah, Mazda 6s, I've had a couple of those. I've had a Mazda 3 before. Um, no, I haven't. I've had a Mazda 2. What am I talking about? I've had a Mazda Zedos was my first car. 1996, Mazda Zedos, 2-litre V8. Um, that thing was a beast. It was my first car. I bought it from my dad for like a grand. I think it was, like, it was about 1,500 quid. And it cost me 2K to insure when I first started driving at the tender age of 23. And uh, yeah, that thing was a monster. Right, we're good for fuel. Uh, just check I've got oxygen all set up right. Yes, I do. We've got our oxygen cans. Yes, we do. We've got more oil. Let's go back to Mars. That Mazda 6 was sporty. It was the sports edition. Yeah, 2.5 um, sports edition Mazda 6. I had a 2003. Um, that was a good car. I like that a lot. Unfortunately for me, it didn't live long enough. Um, we have a bit of a, a an issue here in the south coast of England where cars will get uh, absolutely decimated by the... Um, humid and sea salty air and uh, i always end up with a car that ends up rusting out um big style on the undercarriage so same thing happened to the last two mazda sixes i owned all of the rear wheel arches became super duper rusty and then all of the um you know all of the the the, the chassis underneath uh which connects obviously the the drivetrain and whatnot to the vehicle used to get all knackered up as well. So every time I would take it to a garage to get sorted out, they just give me that look of like, you know, you shouldn't be driving this anymore. Thing. Salty air equals death. JJ says real, spitting out reels. We are spitting out reels here. So we can land this thing on the roof. Bounce that way. We got no mobs though, so that's good. Right, there we go. Let's get our things back. Thank you very much. We'll just leave the, uh, the, the, the bubble things around to remind us how many times we've been doing this. Um, oil goes there. Stick that in there. And then you can go in there. And then you go back in there. And then we'll put our launch pad back down just in case we need to make a beeline out. Ship goes on there. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Good. Right. Power. Are you still working? Right. So look. let's look here, right? The power has stopped. I don't know if you can see, but there's no power going through this cable. Um, so that's a glitch, obviously, as, as we're coming back in. I've got to reset all of the power cables. What is that about? See, it's going to there and then it stops. And that, my friends, is what's causing the problem. Is it just every time you return to the planet? It seems to be. I was not having that problem on the moon. Uh, we, were, we were backing and forthing on the moon like nobody's business. Um, but here on Mars, seems to be the thing. Right, so power is now going into there. Power is going that way. You are just waste waste of life, but uh, let's power you up anyway. Right, so power is going that way need to check the power inside here because I will imagine that's also stopped yes it has as you can see all of the power distribution has stopped again so the gaming beast is going to get another earful from me and I've got to reset all of these cables again
know what, because uh, I don't want any more, I don't want to have to do this again a third time, I'm going to remove that and reset that too. Seems that the oxygen pipes are fine, but the power is not. I wonder, maybe it might have something to do with the cables I'm using. I'm using these um, basic universal cables, which use uh, refined iron and redstone. But uh, they've been doing fine everywhere else. So, you know, what can I say to that? <clears throat> Power down, down, up, and then you go from there, down, that way. I just heard a bang. And then power goes here and here. So right, so we've got power going down, we've got power going over, we've got power going up. This is getting power, this is getting power, this is getting power, that doesn't need it. That sounded like Bob the Building Inspector. No, it will either be a meteor fell close by. Looks like it. Yeah, it was a meteor. You can see it right there. Which is a real thing. I should probably get another meteor deflector set up here just in case they want to aim for this building. But, um, anywho, right. Now, technically, we should be able to go oxygen in, make the bubble... One was close, wasn't it? Yeah. I'll have to get a deflector set up. So make the bubble, please. And please, please, please let me set these, these blocks down. Um, because I am running out of ideas. Your window looks like it's been better. Hey? Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll fix that in a minute as well, then. Thank you for, for letting me know. I'm completely oblivious there. That was from when that creeper popped a minute ago. Right, there we go. So we, we can stick this stuff down now. This is great news. Uh, so I'm just going to spam, spam, spam. Spam eggs and spam. These things everywhere. We need to be generating 160 uh, per second. I'm literally just going to shove them all around the uh, oxygen collector here. So that's now doing 64. Her. Ninety per. I don't want to get uh, that in the get in the way of that thing. Let's see if we can get some on the top now. More. We need more. up here, big styly. Let's see what that's now doing. 170 per second, so good. So we've now hit the uh, the target amount of leaves to oxygen ratio. So that's good. Let's fix that hole. that these leaves set up here as well. So we are now making 198 per second. That should be filling uh, the oxygen it's not because it's powering the bubble distributor. Uh, so when that fills up, which it will, um, 
yeah, which it will. And then it will then fill this one up as the backup oxygen. And as long as we have power, we are good to go. That's already maxed out, so that's good. Um, why not you... We've got 29 more oak leaves. I might as well stick them around. And then we've got more than we need, which is a good situation to be in. So as soon as we come in the front door, as long as no creepers follow us in, uh, we should be good. And then that is, yeah, that's 242 now. That is pumping, as they say. Yeah, that, that will max out soon and we're good. Right, okay, happy days. Happy days. We've got a door to get in and out. We've got our fuel system set up properly over there. Mars is reconfigured. Good time. So we've got a spare oxygen can if we need it as well. So that can go up here. You are junk. You are junk. I think your glass patch was a bit shoddy. Maybe look from the outside. I will do exactly that because I think you're correct. There's creepers out there though, so I will not go out there just yet. Uh, another thing that uh, we desperately need here on Mars is Desh. Dash is a component um, apparently required to build the cryo chamber. Um, so that's something I would like to be able to do. I'm just going to pop out this little hole here. And just do this as well. One, two, three one there I ran out of glass last time which is why it's a little bit um, rough shot um, need to put a stone block in there a proper one we we'll put some torches up here as well because that should stop things spawning up here but yeah we've got creepers around now one two and the rest. Parkour our way up. Like so. There we go. There we go. So let's look up. Um, yeah, something seems off there. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Or maybe not. One, two, and three. It's just the way I'm looking at it, I guess. Um, cool. Right, happy. Yeah, I'll fix that window in a second. But we're going to wait for daytime before I go out because these guys are just a mischief to us. Let's have a look at the voxel map. Um, it was five, wasn't it? So dungeons. I mean, there's something down here might be worth checking out, I guess. And then I can see a couple of black dots over here might signify a dungeon. But yeah, I think maybe we should go and investigate this little little bit over there. Let's say uh, point of interest? Question mark. So we'll pop over there and have a look-see-loo. -look. What have I just done? There's something weird there. Uh, Desh, I thought the T stood for something. No, mate, it's uh, literally just uh, a cross, just so that we, uh, you know, we can look up and see the sky, basically. Uh, I think the black dots are probably just meteorites. Yeah, I was hoping you weren't going to say that, because... Um, didn't want to have to travel far to get to a dungeon. We were really lucky on on the moon because it was right next to um, 
you know, our landing point. Um, but here, if I have to travel, um, makes me nervous, especially without a um, cryo chamber. But we know that if we find Desh, uh, we can make a uh, cryo chamber. So, what do you think? Should we go mining first, or should we go looking for um, the dungeon? I will leave that decision up to you guys. Or do I go check out this uh, point of interest? JJ says Desh. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do some maintenance clearance out here myself. Creepers, where are you? Fear me. Oh, they've all gone. Okay, good. Well, that point of interest is over there. So let's make a little mine site. Not do it too close to the base. Um, let's go here. Subsurface rock. Interesting. Mars stone. It's getting dark for me, so it must be getting dark for you guys as well. Uh, let me know if you're having trouble seeing what I'm doing. And I would do something about the brightness, hopefully. What's this? Subsurface rock. Do we know how deep Desh is? Um, the brightness seems fine for now. Thank you, mate. I personally don't. This is the first time I've ever been to Mars. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like an like a mineral or like an ore. Um, so I'm guessing it will be it will be um, it will be down. What are we on now? We're we're down at seventy four. So we're still pretty high up in the grand scheme of you know our zero axis there or, or z axis, whatever it is. Um, guessing we need to go deeper. Uh, I'd like to think something would show up on the map, but it's bullard red. I mean, if you wouldn't mind, in your current location, maybe doing a quick Google search for... Um, where's the dash? Got a little um, chasm here. Hello. Hell. I'm sure I'm getting shot from two angles. All of you get out. come in there no thank you not today the deeper oh between 64 and 20 yeah so we're nowhere nowhere near it yet are we I'm just bailing out on this for a second because uh, that got hot quick. Average of 15 dash per chunk. 
between 64 and 20 though, so that's good. Grab that raw meteoric iron because it is good stuff. oxygen tanks a little. That one specifically. Eat some food. How's that doing? So that's now maxed out. So we should be harvesting. Yeah, we are. So we're now harvesting oxygen as well. That's still pumping out at 242. So everything's still great over here. Uh, maybe we'll go and check out the point of interest now, because um, if we can find anything on the surface, even better, right? No concept of time here, because it just seems to be... It looks like the um, the sun is going down, so maybe it's not wise to go out at this point. I don't know. Uh, maybe the mine should be better made down here as well, where we've got um, got a bunch of chunks already out. So we're on 90, so we're actually quite high up. This now takes us down to 74 to start, so that's a good 20 blocks down. Get you out of here. Is Astro Miner in? Can you check? I will check. Because I was actually talking in uh, the last episode about seeing what automation uh, we can bring to mining. That's definitely something we should be aspiring to. So let's have a look. Astro. Astro miner. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so that's me. We need we need the um, the schematic for starters. So we need to find the schematic from somewhere. And then yeah, we're going to need Orion drives. A beam core. We can make heavy duty plate one, that's fine. How do we make Orion drives? So that is beam core with all of this stuff. Looks a bit complicated to make. Definitely later on. Sounded interesting to me. I mean if that is what I think it is, and it's like a little rover that you can you can mine in, that's awesome. That's awesome. But I'm pretty sure that there are like auto miners as well. Auto auto workbench. Uh, autonomous activator. Auto, automatic ore converter. Um, miner. No, it's an automated bot. No human assistance needed. Like a turtle. That's awesome. Like that. Digital miner. What is a digital miner? Uh, look at all this. <laughs> Atomic alloys. We can make that one. I know that for sure. Steel casing. We could probably make that. Teleportation core. Logistical sorter. And a robot. It's a schema is its schematic is found here on Mars by defeating the creeper boss. Oh shit, it's a creeper boss as well. Jesus. Infiminer. What is an infaminer? Um, drill? Mining drills. So there is such a thing as a mining drill. Power units and compressed iron plates. I can make most of that back on the overworld. I can make all of that back on the overworld. So yeah, whatever that is, a mining drill might be something we should uh, we should think about investing in for the future. Is that sun coming up or going down? I think it's going down, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, looks like we're chilling here for a little bit. 
evolved creeper boss that is jesus christ um yeah i doubt i want to take that thing head on right um just look at the creeper boss wiki you might not want to fight this thing jesus i kind of have to though don't i because I've, this it's the next logical point to continue um definitely don't want to fight this thing without any way of respawning on mara's and i'm going to need a second spacesuit for sure um one that hopefully has some some uh some protection to it because this one has nothing look at the durability 100 although to be fair it's not been breaking and i've been dying a bunch um Space suit modules. Let's look at that. Space suit. No. So there's the space suit. Oh, it's all one word. Galaxy space. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got... So that's something we need to invest in at some point, jetpacks. I did speak to uh, VJ about that one uh, in the past, and he agreed that that was a good thing to talk about. Module, space stabilization. Expander. Electrolyze. VJ says he requested jetpacks, and uh, that is true, he did. He definitely did. Dungeon keys, rockets... Um Modules. Available modules too. So how do you get the modules in them? That's the question. List modules. So it just gives me no more information than that. And is that is that these things? Electrolyze? Stabilization and expander? Is that what they are? That's my question. Oh, there's a guidebook here. How do you make the guidebook? It doesn't tell you. Ancient relic. These, these look like the only modules here. Um, portable nuclear reactor, oxygen EPP tank, heavy booster, durable rocket engine, durable rocket body, durable nose cone. That's all this stuff down here. Uh, and remember, we can trade with the guys on the moon, the traders on the moon, for a schematic box, which contains basic schemes for rockets, whatever that means. Um, Anti-radiation tables, yeah, they also trade for that as well. What's this? Solar flare. Solar flare module. Let's have a look at the recipe for the jetpack then. So battery, meteoric iron, we can definitely make that. In fact, I've got a battery here. We've got one of those. Filled fuel canister. I've got one of those up here. Heavy aluminum wire. How do you make that? So that's just copper. Jetpacks. Trying to get to Mars? You can just buy that shiz in stores. Shiznay. Yeah, now we've got all these unfriendly mobs around. Look. That's this. I should have brought some uh, some earth with us. Maybe we could have had a go at planting a tree on Mars. Planting. Yeah, if we had some copper and some way to manufacture this stuff, the jetpack would have been uh, 
would have been cool to have. But I need compressors and stuff, and and definitely access to ores to be able to do all of that stuff. So unless we had, we can find that in mines down here. Won't row. I guess I could make a mine in the base, a little stairwell down, or. Or, I've only got 15 woods. Or we can just make a bunch of ladders. Wait, that's not right. What level are we on here? We're on 89. That would get us 40 sticks. And then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for a ladder. Then you get 3. So, it takes us 15 flights down. Yeah, we're not going to have enough, are we? I'll probably get down about 45. And what did you say we needed to be between 64 and 20? Trapdoor? Iron. Trap. No. New. Never mind. We can make a wooden one. Just. So my thought is, to be honest with you, it will only just get us there, won't it? If we dig straight down and ladder it, I can ladder down 33, which will take us to just under 60 from in here. Let's do that. Sazzy Roo! Hello, Sazzy Roo. Hope you are good. We're playing Minecraft on, on Mars. Minecraft on Mars, everyone. So let's do this. This is a tried and tested method for quick mining. Um, we got 33, so we can go down another 31 blocks. So hopefully we don't end up in some kind of chasm somewhere, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, torch. Another 21, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, torch. <clears throat> Sorry, we've not ended up anywhere silly yet. Down to 68. So 
out of ad. Sorry. Hi. Sazzy, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're playing modded Minecraft here, uh, a little mod pack called Steve's Galaxy Reborn. We're on Mars, would you believe? So if you've ever played Minecraft and said to yourself, can you go to space with this mod pack? You can. And we are. We're in Mars. And I am in the process of... Oh, look at this. Iron ore. Very nice. Uh, in the process of making a safe mine underneath of the base that we've created. Um, and yeah, I've just found some um, some materials for the first time. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit quiet and a bit pensive because we're doing everything with um, extra danger levels as we've got uh, limited access to oxygen, etc, etc, etc. Uh, I want all of that iron and I will replace it for this here cobblestone. Um, VJ, I don't know whether you've noticed or not, but I have made you a honorary mod to the channel. Um, I don't have the ability to shout out Sazzy Roo, um, but uh, let us know Sazzy, what was the last game you were playing? What was the last game you were streaming? And um, we'll do a uh, we'll do a manual vocal shout out for you. Uh, JJ, does that mean there is Mars Diamond or Easy Diamonds? Maybe, maybe, probably not at level fifty six, but uh, we've found iron, so that's something. And if we can find access to ores, we can start building again. Um, so now I'm gonna. Get the old trusty hammer out. Let's start hammering our way through. Uh, stalker. Oh, VJ is a stalker. Yeah, he's a dirty old stalker, that one. Alright, everyone keep your eye on my oxygen because I keep forgetting. We can continue to dig down in this general direction as well. I feel comfortable if we can get down to like 30 before I start making a mega mine tunnel. Um, but I don't want to run into any creepies in the process. So we've got to do this safely. That's our beacon there, so we're not too far away from home. Keep this all well lit. Apparently I was playing this, but with different graphics. Seven ways to die. Yeah, this kind of feels a bit like seven days to die. Seven ways to die. Seven days to die. Uh, as they, We've also got we got this mod installed as well, where it's like a zombie apocalypse. So it um, gets pretty dang intense. Yeah, I'm getting total recall vibes at the moment with all this red, all this blood red everywhere. Everything is just red, red, red. What are we down to? 49. Oxygen is okay. Tin. We found the elusive tin on Mars. Mars tin, everybody. It's good to see it. What's happened here? Ah, Mars cobblestone. I wonder if that doubles down as like regular cobblestone for, for overworld styles. I'm thinking maybe it should do. some torches down because uh yeah it's bloody dark here isn't it um 47 slowly edging our way down 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 into the mysteries below
We were talking about weekends earlier. VJ's obviously dealing with his car, doing his hydraulic clutch on his car. Saziru, any exciting plans for this weekend? Let us know. Arcana, you've not told us what you're up to yet. JJ, what about yourself? Have you got any any fine plans this weekend? Uh, you didn't ask, but I will tell you anyway. I have a appointment with my brother. Um, so my brother and a friend of ours have been playing Ark Ascended uh, or Survival Ascended since Christmas, since it came out, I suppose. And um, yeah, this Saturday we're booked in to try and beat the game. So that's my plans for this weekend, as sad as it sounds. We're going to go and take our army of dinosaurs and see if we can defeat uh, all of the remaining bosses in the game. BJ says, at Saziru, basically. It is, isn't it? It is like seven days to die, uh, but with rendered, unrendered graphics. Sazzy says, work, work, work. And I got a birthday party to take my daughter to. That's cute. Um, do you have just the one daughter, Sazzy Roo? I've got uh, three boys. Well, I've got two boys, and then there's another one in our household, uh, which belongs to my uh, my missus. But um, we get lots of birthday parties to attend to. In fact, we went to one last weekend. Arcana says, my plans for the weekend is working on my animation, and it's gym leg day. Good boy. Good job, Arcana. Um, keep those legs pumped. Oxygen is fine, everybody, if you're worried. Let's get some more torches. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And stick our spoils in the base. Good, good boy. <laughs> Sazzy's just got the one. Good for you. Yeah, just uh, don't go any more than one, Sazzy easiest when you've only got one when you've got multiple things get very complicated and uh, they all want to do different things and go different places and uh, have different things all at the same time and then it gets fun one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh we've got eleven so deal with it um is it daytime yet i think it's getting there isn't it JJ, not a whole lot for me. Been under the weather recently. Just starting to get better, so I didn't make plans. Good idea. Good idea. You know, work on uh, rejuvenating those batteries, as they say. I do the same. If I'm feeling a bit ropey, I'll, I'll take my weekend and use it to, uh, you know, recover from whatever's going on. And that's another fun thing about having multiple kids is they bring home multiple illnesses constantly. So you're forever passing uh, sickness around the household. Especially when they go to all these kids' parties. Copper. We found Mars Copper, everyone. Will we be able to make a jetpack? Possible. Our first Mars invention could be a jetpack that can take us to the dungeon boss. We are looking for Desh as well. Just gonna box up this hole I've just made. Because my OCD says do it. There we go. Let's get another torchy poo down. What are we are now 35. So 30 is what I said I was going to go down to, wasn't it? Tin. Fun for the whole family. Yes. So that's 30. Right, so we're, we're at the level uh, where I'm comfortable going looking for some dash. So let's go 
let's keep going straight so let's go let's literally just keep bashing in this direction until we find something interesting we are going to get through a lot of torch doing this already we found a chasm what are you tin ore that goes down uh, I'm just going to box this up and keep moving forwards, I think. But we will grab this good stuff on the way. go what chasm what chasm are you talking about i messed up my uh my mind there a little bit um shadow hunters here good morning oh look at me with my sword yeah welcome um i've given you i've given you the power shadow you and vj are both power powered up i hope that's okay you didn't ask for it but you have been bestowed the magic gift of moderator moderators after our big discussion yesterday. For whatever it's worth and for whatever good it does. Enjoy your new power. Wield that sword mightily but fairly. There should, there could be dash in the cave, old oh, JJ. Yeah, I know, mate, but I'm too scared to go rooting around. Uh, I'm choosing the safe option for now. I think once we have the dash, so we're looking for dash, everybody. Once we have the dash and we can make that cryo chamber, then I don't mind going spelunking. But until then, let's keep going straight until we come across it naturally. How's that sound? Got some more iron people. Shadow Hunter, thank you for trusting me with your channel. You're welcome. Thank you, be thank you for being a um, wonderful supporter of the channel. What's this? Dash. Wait, that's not right. Sorry, I got a bit excited there. So look, there's Dash. We got four unrefined dashes just then. Didn't have to go caving, spelunking. We found it naturally going in a straight line. Dash, all a mesh. Oxygen is good. I'm going to keep going until our torches run out, and then I will uh, go back up and we'll see how we turn this dash into what we need for the cryo chamber. There's some more dash. We're dashing now. We are up to eight dashes. Oxygen is fine. So I'm doing that for me. It's a... Uh, it's not a you thing. There's also, I don't know if you can see it in the map, but um, it's kind of, we're on the cusp of something. I don't know what that means. If I was to go in that direction, we could probably find it, but uh, could be like a cave system. I can see some blue on the mini map. Maybe we should go and check it out. Let's have a look. Let's be brave boys and have a look. Find it. Think about the dash. <laughs> well, I also want to bring you some aspect of entertainment as well. Shadow, have you um have you recovered from your big stream yesterday? Anybody interested? Shadow Hunter here streamed for a good eight hours yesterday, and uh, it was insane and intense and insane and then intense again and then it got insane for a bit and then it got a bit more intense. You could say it was um, pulsating intensity. Intensity? Intense. 
intention. The intensity was pulsating. Tin, I'll take it. Uh, Shadow Hunter is at work today. She's busy petting cats to talk to us. Well, that just blows bananas, doesn't it? Dash. Getting dash for days now, guys. And it's a bit more tin there. Give me that sweet tin. Running out of light as well, which is a bit of a pooper. But what I might do actually is, because we're now going in that direction to see what that big circular thing is, I might come back over here and grab these torches then box this bit off. Let's recycle. So then yeah, if I go, we'll hear things growing behind it, but uh, that won't bother us because we have gone the other way safely. Uh, so what we got here, we've got 12 unrefined dash, we've got eight tin and eight iron and eight coppers. The power of eight compels us. I need to go and eat, but I can only do that back at the base, and um, our tools are getting pretty danged up. Dinged up, danged up. Ding, dang, a dong, a ding. What's the doodles? Right, there we go. And onwards. I want to see what this big thing is before we uh, run back. More dash. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What the heck is going on down here? Guys, we've found life on Mars. Life on Mars. He's done so I've done something. I'm a bit worried there's gonna be all kinds of mobs down here though. Yeah, you can see them all, but uh look at all this good stuff. He's letting all the O2 out. Well, technically, it can only go up to my base, right? So it goes up that, that bit and back up to my base. But, uh, yeah, I am letting it out, aren't I? Um, do I stairwell down and then come back to it? I think, yeah, maybe it's a smart idea, right? What is that? What is that? What is this thing? It's like a tadpole, a green tadpole. Is it a reskin silverfish? Yeah, I wonder if it is. Mars weavers. What's that down there as well? Um. All right, we just need to go down a little bit more. And then whatever that thing is, it's probably going to try and get up our suit leg and into our pants. Oh, 
Don't go up my pant leg. There he is. He's jumping. Oh, he's hurting. Did he die? What was he? And look at this place. We can get enough torches down here. Maybe all the baddies won't spawn so much, but... Uh, What's this stuff? Carnivorous vines. Oh, ca cavernous vines. Galactica planets. I'm hearing stuff. Spooky noises. I want to know what that red stuff is. Uh, I'm going to go and heal up and come back again and, and see what else we need to do for the cryo uh, chamber. But um, I think we've made a very big discovery. This AI was not made for low gravity. Whatever it is, it's interesting. It's right under our base. Could this be how the game Doom started? Well, we dug too deep. And unearthed the unholy um, abominations. Close the flap. Eat some food. And the dimension into hell. Right, um, I also need to fix some stuff. But yeah, I'm thinking that this doubles down as normal cobblestone. So technically, we've got a furnace. But actually, I've got no coal or anything to cook with. So that's a problem. And I've uh, spunked all of my wood. Cryo chamber. Cryogenic chamber. Oh, God, yeah, okay, so we're going to have to go back to um, the overworld to make it, but um, heavy-duty plate, I've got a couple of those spare over there, and then compressed dash, so dash ingot is, oh, my God, a block of dash makes nine dash ingots. So does that mean that I can make a block of dash like that? No. Dash ingot. Can be smelted. Straight up like that. Okay. So that's fine. Um, I wonder if using our smelter we get double back at home. We'll try it. Redstone furnaces as well. Induction smelters. Alloy smelters. Or converters. Shaped crafting. Okay, so that's fine. Backup is being made. Um, I think now that we have a backup, we should... Um, we should explore a little. What do you guys think? Let's top up our oxygen tanks. See, I don't mind fighting down there if there's space to fight. I watched the three hour Doom Law video the other day. Uh, it was too detailed for me to get a grasp on what the F happened. Um, they're interesting though, aren't they, those Law videos? I watched the entire ARC um, Law videos and, and now I've got a whole new appreciation for the game knowing exactly what's going on in the story because otherwise you're only picking it up through, um, you know, the, the, the explorer's notes and things like that. Uh, JJ says, interestingly enough, Mars moons aren't part of original galactic craft, but the moon, Mars, and Venus are. Probably related to the bug. Yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense as to why we can't travel there anyway. But this is exciting. We've, we've discovered something. Um, I've never seen this yet on a playthrough. Uh, underground caverns full of uh, good stuff. So, um, I'm excited. So excited, I'm going to take a drink. Oxygen tanks are full, Captain. 
Right, so we are filled up. Um, I have my bow, but where is my backpack? Where did I leave my backpack? It's back on Earth, isn't it? Damn it. Because inside that backpack, I've got all my arrows. Oh, that's useless. Would have been nice to have my bow, at least. I've got one regular arrow there, but that's definitely not going to cut the mustard. Um, anything else I can take with me? Let's take more torch. So we can light the area up a bit down there. Uh, I mean, if we're smart, we could kind of create some safe safe walls to stop the baddies from getting us but um let's go in a bit gung-ho actually before i do question as this is cobblestone can i turn you into stairs yes i can Yes, I can. So let's let's make our trip there and back a lot more pleasant. Down we go. Um, so already I've wowsed this, haven't I? But that's fine, because we can go... Got a bit of gravity on our side, so that helps. So you're probably thinking, why is this important, Star 17? Why are you making stairs down? The answer to that question is, uh, because if I get scared and I want to run away, I feel comfortable that um, we can run away faster like this. Would you not agree? Running away faster. Star 17 tail. Uh, chat, hold me, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, mate, because, uh, you know, everything's on the line without without a respawn point. Uh, now, I make it my business to play games on, like, hardcore settings and permadeath settings. It's, 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 a, it's, it's an experience I enjoy, but... Um, Always, 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 I go in with absolute um, concern for everything. And that usually steers me true. Although, saying that, there's only one game I've ever permadeath run on, and that was Subnautica. Now it's the only way I prefer to play that game. Those of you that might be interested, when I first started streaming, back in the old days, Arcana might remember this, uh, me and two other streamers did a competition uh, to try and beat Skyrim on a permadeath run. Uh, we had a number of rules in place. We weren't allowed to fast travel. We weren't allowed to... Um, what else was with our rules? We weren't allowed to fast travel. We weren't allowed to make saves and reload the saves. You literally had to. You could do. You could make a save, obviously, at the end of your stream, uh, but obviously, you had to stay true to where you picked up and, and left off, sort of thing. But um, 
yeah, if you died, then literally you had to start again from, um, where was our starting point? It was at the, just after the, um, the tutorial. So as soon as you get out of the, uh, the tutorial was your starting point, basically. So if you died, that's where you had to go back to. You had to go through all the story all over again and again and again and again and again. And the amount of times we saw the beginning of that game was absolutely insane. But the permadeath run did come to an end because one of our one of our posse finished it. Kuja Returns is his name. Uh, he ended up doing like a wild overnight stream um, and did it in one evening in the end. But he was flagging for the for the best part of it anyway. He was the guy that was dying all the time. And then all of a sudden, he wasn't. Do you remember that, Arcana? Do you remember those times? There's Creep. And he's just despawned. There's nothing down here now. Oh, wait, there's a skeleton there. Oh, there's that creeper there. There's actually not much down here. At the moment. There's loads of dash there. Alright, we're in now. God damn, we are in. That was a spooky noise. Didn't like it. Turn my back to the mobs. That's a uh, that's a um, what's the word? An error on my part. Schoolboy error. That's the word I was thinking of. I'm putting down my stairs for fast escaping. wonder what this green juice is. Let's see if we can grab some. Bacterial sludge. I got some bacterial sludge. Whatever that is. Come and get me, you assholes. I'll take you all on, one at a time. Come on, who's next? What's this red stuff? Redstone. Oh, that's that's not exciting at all, is it? Got some more of these green dudes. Aluminium. Oh. Now we're getting shot. Come on, green guys. Come and jump onto my sword. Uh, he's getting hurt by something and he's shooting the ground. Now he's just ended up in the bacterial juice. So he will sort himself out. That's good. Yeah, maybe those little um, silverfish things are attacking those guys as well. Just light the room up a little bit around here. Yeah, there's lots of good stuff here. More dash. Why not? You're obviously going to want to fight. So come on then. Oh yeah, those things are at him. Uh, 
on green things. I've got the high ground, mate. Oh, he went straight down in one go. What just hurt me? Yay to the sludge, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, that was good, I like that. The sludge helped us. Loads of gold there, thank you very much. Give it all to me, I'm a greedy boy and I want it all. Fill in these holes we made. No, that's not holes. That's what she said. No, that's not right. I'm interested what this... Um... Okay, they're vines, so I'm guessing I need to take them out with a, with a set of shears if we want to harvest them. Finish our stairs now that we've made this a little bit safer down here. Nice little entryway in. Nice little entryway out. Good to see you still breathing though. Um, thanks. I think you were talking to talk to me, right? <laughs> Yeah, please do let me know if I forget to breathe, because that is a thing, right? Uh, there's one enemy left. He's half dead. Alright, head on a swivel, everyone. This cabin goes on, doesn't it? Another section over there. Right, we don't need to go too deep in. I just need to help myself to all of this good stuff. Give me the dash. Give me the copper. Oh, coal, yes. Give me all that sweet, sweet Mars coal. We need it. Give me the dash. I'll take some redstone, why not? What are you, coal again? Oh, look at this. A bunch of creepers just showed up. Strafe these arrows, they're coming out slow. Uh, Four Coffees is here as well. Hello, Four Coffees. Um, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming along. Um, was very um, entertained by yesterday's stream on Shadow's um, channel there with you guys playing um, that game. I can't remember what it's called. Party Animals, is that what it's called? Something like that, right? Um, Shadow Hunter, he built a whole oxygen system. 
Yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, I need to go back to base in a second anyway, so we can have another look at it if you want. But uh, welcome, uh, Four Coffees. We're playing We're playing Minecraft, modded. Uh, we're on Mars. We've just found this huge kind of chasm here, and uh, I am just uh, stealing as many good things as I can from it without dying. We don't have the ability to respawn here on Mars, so we're being very ginger and very careful. Well, I am anyway. Trying to be. Which is kind of the opposite of, of how I usually roll. But, um, yeah, that's the thing. We're putting loads of torches down so that um, hopefully things stop spawning in. But uh, all the good stuff is here. Tin, aluminium. Iron, dash, coal, copper, redstone. No diamond, though. I've not found any of that. Give me the coal. I want it all. Um, back on Earth, it's completely um, toxified and desolated. Thanks to some cataclysmic event. This is the law of this mod, this mod pack. And that's what's brought us to the heavens, to the stars above, to seek um, uh, seek solace uh, in a far distant galaxy. I feel like I'm just saying words now, but uh, that's that's the thing. Um, down to level 20 down here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, definitely want to explore this a lot more, but we do not have enough torches. And there's a creeper just spawned in. So these guys are spawning in thick and fast and heavy. He's getting hurt. He went in the juice. He went in the bacterial sludge and he's getting hurt. Yeah, all the mobs are like evolved versions as well, so they're extra hard. Yeah, there's nothing nice about this mod pack at the moment. Everything's pretty tough. But we're on the cusp of exploration here. Nice life in Mars. Yeah, it's like, it feels like Total Recall to me. Like, everything is just messed up. Oxygen is a problem. There's some kind of evil overlord somewhere controlling everything. But this is our base up here. Um, I feel I feel comfortable we've done enough digging around down there for now. We'll go back to Earth in a minute and um, see if we can make this cryo chamber because that would be a really, really good thing to do today. That would be an accomplishment in itself. Uh, I will show you guys what we're working with up here in my little habitat. So uh, we are generating our own oxygen. Obviously on Mars there is none. So we've got these little machines here. That's an oxygen collector, which is taking all of the oxygen from these leaves. Uh, that's a bubble distributor. So that's taking the oxygen that we're harvesting, piping it through this system down here, and then pumping it out in a radial fashion meaning that we can breathe inside this little habitat here. This little guy is a compressor, so I can compress the oxygen and stick it into oxygen tanks so I can keep replenishing my oxygen for when I leave the oxygenated habitat that I've created. And then our power systems are outside here. My rocket's outside there as well. We've got wind power, we've got solar power. Uh, and then we've got uh, our fuel loading machines that power the rocket. And I think that's pretty much everything explained for now anyway we've got this beautiful stuff here called dash uh, which is only um, acquired here on Mars and with that we had to do a bunch of extra things so um, look at all that redstone we've got I've just had a thought actually you can power the furnaces with redstone right uh, or we could make a redstone furnace Let's have a look here. Redstone furnace. Oh, shit. We need all this stuff. Copper gears, redstone reception coils, machine frames, bricks. We're not going to have bricks up here, are we? Um, yeah, let's go back to Earth. Redstone can stay. Arrows can stay. That can stay. That can stay. Um, the coal can stay. There's a bunch of it down there. This this bacterial sludge. I'd like to uh, I'd like to investigate. What can we do with bacterial sludge? Bact. 
bacterial sludge. Florbs. Don't know. But we can transpose it, whatever it is. For whatever purpose, I'm not sure. Uh, let's leave that up. No, let's take that back to... Uh, let's bring this bacteria to the overworld. That seems like a smart thing to do, doesn't it? Um, Desh, where's that gone? There it is. Grab that. And the rest of these ores. Uh, the cobblestone can stay. I want to leave some food up here for sure. Uh, Mars stairs can stay up here as well. So this is what we're taking back to Oith. We also want to make that jetpack as well, because that would be useful to have. Going back to the chat then. So uh, I'm at work, so dipping in and out. Yes, Shadow, thank you. Um, VJ did advise that you were working today, so that's fine. You have it well planned. I don't. <laughs> I've just died enough times that uh, I know myself better. Um, best shout out that VJ can do is exclamation point SO at four coffees. Uh, four coffees, what was the last thing you streamed on Twitch? Let us know. Um, and we will, we will do a verbal shout out because I don't have the system set up, uh, unfortunately. I'm a bit. Uh, a bit light on all of the uh, bells and whistles here on the Star 17 show. Anyway, anyway, we're safe outside at the moment. Oh, I didn't eat. Let's do that. We can only eat inside our little biosphere as well. Say four coffees loud and proud, please, Star Gaming. Four coffees! Is that loud enough and proud enough? Kind of made my eye twitch doing that. All right, so that's fueled up. So yeah, let's off, off and away with ourselves. Back to Earth. No need, but thank you. We appreciate everybody here. There's no thanks needed. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for making my morning special. I appreciate that. Off we go. We can take a look at my base as we fly off. Oh, you know what's going to happen when we come back. All of that power system's going to be knackered, isn't it? I wonder if it does that, because... At least on Mars, on the moon, sorry, we're still within... We're still within, kind of, the overworld's sphere of influence, to some extent. But now we're beyond that. We're almost in a different dimension altogether. I wonder if it's now cutting the power as we leave that area. And then when we go back to it, it all needs resetting. I wonder if that's the thing. Sounds plausible, right? Scuzzlebutt! <laughs> Scuzzlebutt is here, everybody. Scuzzlebutt is amazing. Scuzzlebutt is one of the OG streamers that I uh, once upon a time used to um, start off with back in the old days. Um, taking off to Weekend City. He is... He is he has welcomed his weekend early, and I don't see why not. Seems like a, a champion idea. Um, Scuzzlebutt, um, welcome, welcome to modded Minecraft. Uh, you used to watch me play um, challenge maps of Minecraft back in the old days. The uh, the skyblock stuff I used to do. Uh, this is a modded Minecraft experience where we have interstellar travel. We go to distant planets in search of new explorations and technological advancements. And the Earth, as we know it, has been decimated by a cataclysm. You wouldn't know it to look at it now, but it's been decimated by a cataclysmic event. Um, I've put all of this um, grass back and I am bringing life back to this planet slowly through my endeavours. But um, yeah, we're at like episode 18 today. Uh, we usually stream for about two to three hours, so <clears throat> if you do the math, that kind of gives you a bit of an insight as to how many hours we poured into this uh, playthrough so far. I want to say we kind of what's well, let's let's do let's eighteen times two right is uh, thirty six. So we're at least I would say forty hours in would be my best guess. 
40 hours of gameplay. Uh, to which, if you're interested to catch up on what we've done so far, I have a YouTube series. So all, all of what gets um, televised here uh, gets... Um, gets, uh, gets do you know what? That backpack's gone missing. Sorry, I've completely just wowsed out because I had a backpack full of goodies. And uh, now it's missing. That is one of my backpacks, but I have another one. Oh, have I left it somewhere else? Don't think so. No Man's Craft. Yeah, something like that. Definitely something like that. Well, blow me down and then blow me up and then blow me down again because I have lost my backpack. I wonder if that's another glitch in the game. Luckily, I've got a second one, but there we go. Reset the rocket there. That's going to load that up with fuel. Yes, it is. Goody gumdrops. Believe it or not, that Skeletor inside uh, this spacesuit here. But yeah, I've lost one backpack, which is unfortunate. Ah, Desh. Can I put the Desh in here? That is the big question. No, I cannot, which means I can't duplicate what we've got. But I can still do that with these things. Yes, I can. Okay, never mind. We can put Desh through this. In the old-fashioned way. I was making uh, super stone. But no longer do I need to do that. Uh, coal. I need some coal. Do we have it? Two pieces. Well, that's just not going to be enough, is it? Yeah, so we can make the heavy plate here because I've got the goods for that. One piece of coal in there. All of these machines have a purpose. That's a compressor. We've got pulverizers. We've got energy cells, recyclers. We've got fluid transposers, circuit fabricators, assembly machines. And what's that? It's an infu metallurgic influ infuser. So, yeah, and the chemistry station over here. Uh, so we got all kinds of things going on in this mod pack. All kinds of good things. Uh, we've got DNA. We've taken DNA from fossils and we've uh, we've processed them here. Uh, so that's the thing. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's inside this bacterial sludge. Let's check it out. We're here with our microscope. If it will. No, it doesn't tell us anything. Well, that's a pooper. Can I bio degrade it? Biodegrade? Is that a thing? No, it's just going to sit there in the hopper. So I've got this stuff and I can't do anything with it. So what we will do, like any good item in Minecraft, is put it in a chest and forget about it. I should have brought some of that coal back, shouldn't I? Uh, instead, though, we can do something else, right? We can take some of this uh, dark oak turn that into charcoal instead and then we can do our dash right sleep we can sleep on the overworld so that's good uh when do you start breeding with the villagers well that's a very personal question vj and i i hasten to say don't ask me that question uh before the hour of 8 p.m in the evening the purpose of this machine is to post cringe on james lee's twitter imagine Imagine if I can just throw bacterial sludge through a machine and then it does some, some stuff to his Twitter. That would be fun. Uh, there's a little meteor shield here. Stops the... Uh, there's there's a... Meteors dropping all the time in this post-apocalyptic world. So we need to be careful 
not to take a direct hit because they do make a right mess of the base. Let's quickly go top up our food wall here with the uh, with the defeated zombies and their rotten flesh. I can um, put them out here to dry, hang them up basically, and they dry out and turn into to jerky, which we can then eat safely. So we are very um, economic with uh, the resources that uh, Mother Nature has given to us. So if I stick them up here, yeah, after a little bit of time, they will become edible food. As cannibalistic as that sounds. Scuzzle, what are you playing at the moment? Are you still playing, um, well, what was it called? Um, b -b 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 Ghost of Tsushima. I could probably pronounced that completely wrong, but um, Tsushima Satsiki. Shih Tzu, no. I think it's Ghost of uh, Tsushima, isn't it? Or something like that. It's like a Soulsy type game. This is my super smelter. I can uh, process things ultra fast from it. Let's process the iron next. And we've run out of lava. So that's another another problem with the um, with the fact we've lost our our backpack is that also had our you know areas we can keep the lava and everything. So I am going to literally have to take this last one with us. But I am just asking myself, what happened to the other one? Did I leave it on the moon? Don't remember not having it. I'll have to look back on the previous uh, recordings to see if it's just disappeared. But yeah, I feel like that's that's glitched out on our backing and forth thing. Interestingly, how do we make another one? Backpack. So to make a backpack, it won't tell me. Oh, okay, like that. Uh, so you need to start with an adventure backpack, by the sounds of things. Oh, there we go. So we need leather, one, two, three, four, two backpack tanks, gold, chest, and a sleeping bag. Leather we don't have yet, but we can get it from the scrap box. Maybe that's a good opportunity to do this. I haven't done this for a while. So we've got all of these scraps here which I can then turn into scrap boxes. Not like that. That's a really slow way of doing it. Give me this. Turn that into that. Now I can see inside the chest as well. Sixty four scrap boxes and change. So we got a bunch of scrap boxes here. Let's see if we get some leather out of them. Apples. Dirt blocks, hose, there's one leather. Yeah, we don't have access to cows yet, so uh we've got to do this a bit of a different way. There's another leather. Definitely getting better loot than we were last time we were doing this anyway. Saw a, f a cooked chicken go by then. 
another can of food, bread, bones, more leather, huh. saw a pork chop then, there's a battery again, soul sand, oh we need one more leather. End up with loads of wooden hose, which is the worst thing because they're just going to take up space. Get rid of those. More wooden rubbish. Get out of my inventory. Some of this stuff is all right though. Soul stand, nether rack. Dirt, regular copper, iron dust, gold dust, glowstone dust, redstone, tin dust, coal dust. Single use battery. A filled tin can, filled with what? Tin? Is it a tin can filled with tin? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, well, I'll be off again. It's been great. Have a good one, y'all, says JJ. See you later, JJ. Have a great weekend, mate. Oh, look, we got an egg. We got an egg, people. Wouldn't it be amazing luck if I threw that egg down and there was a chicken inside? That would be amazing luck. Cooked pork chop. <laughs> I know I can stick it in here and get the DNA from it, but I think I've already got chicken DNA. Yeah, I do. No, just filled. Do it! All right, just for you, before you go. We ask the lords of Minecraft to bless us with a chicken! Instead, I just made a mess on the wall. Never mind. <laughs> no. Never mind. We'll do it the hard way. See you later, mate. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Right now, I've, I've I've done all that scrapping. I've just got stuff everywhere now. Let's just get rid of this ASAP. Bones out. That doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. Uh, if we put the ch the pork chop in, no, because it's cooked. If it's cooked, we can't do anything with it. Leather, however, we should be able to see how we can chemistry some of this stuff up so that requires keratin uh where can we get keratin from you'd like to think you can get that from bone right keratin so we can decompose leather for it or we can make keratin with all of this a chemical bucket. Books. Oh, I've got loads of books. And bookshelves. And item frames. Really? No, that's cellulose. Dinopedia. Leather boots. Oh, okay, so I can decompose leather gear. Because I have some. Leather tunic, leather hat, leather hat. So I know I'm getting a bit sidetracked at the moment, but I would like to have a backup uh, adventure backpack if possible. I wonder if that's not going to work because they're sort of broken. Or can they be recycled? Yes, they can. Into... Nothing. Ah, oh, that's, that's, that's becoming scrap still. We don't want to do that. Uh, but I've got plenty of books. Uh, 
have a few stacks of books out. Shut those up here. So yeah, we're getting keratin and cellulose. All right, we've got some charcoal now, so let's get this dash going, because that is our actual mission at this time. Scrap goes down there. Put the tin up here for a sec. Coal dust up, tin dust up. Redstones, fine. Apples can go up. Bread can go up. Chickens. Tablets. Filled tin pans. Right, you can go up here instead. So we got our dash ingots now. I think it was nine of those for a dash block, wasn't it? And then, I mean, it seems a bit OTT that um, you need to you need to do a whole block. If I just do one, I think that might be doing the wrong thing. But let's see. Yeah, that's what we want. We need six of those guys. Two, three, four, five. So that's going to make that, and then we needed um, cryo. Huh. We needed two heavy duty plates, which we can make with two of those and two of those. So that's doable. Bed in the middle. I think someone's at the door and wants in. They're here, they have a surprise for me, okay? Let's go and find out. Zombies. Loads of them. And a zombie villager wearing armor. Is that my surprise, VJ? All of these zombies slash zombie villager. Well, most of them aren't armed, so let's um, sleep. Watch them burn. And if that zombie villager is still alive at the end of it, maybe I'll save him. You got any lava stone? What do you mean, like magma blocks? Yeah, magma blocks. No, I don't. I don't have any of that, I'm afraid. Are you saying stick some there on the doorstep and then watch them just like catch themselves on fire when they get too close? I suppose I could build like a trapdoor system, couldn't I? And um, just like a switch and have them fall into like a pool of lava or water, water around them. Then they'll know what happens if they try and mess with us. Right, we're going to do this again, VJ. So it is a spider eye sugar and a brown mushroom. Spider eye sugar. A brown mushroom. Anybody see my mushrooms? Mushrooms. I'm sure I got some. 
There we go. Here I am getting sidetracked again. Fermented spider eye, and then that was a bottle of water, right? In here. And we need a golden apple. We have one. You know, if you put three bottles in, you'll make three, right? No, I did not know that, and now I do. But I only need one, so that's fine. Oh, we've got more zombies come to play. Guys, don't you know I'm trying to do something here? You need to leave. Come on then. You want it, come get it. You're too big to get through the door, aren't you? Idiot. Come on, get in here. Oh, he's hurting. Alright, go in there then. Just don't die. Right, he's okay. So it's... Oh, I've got to make it a splash, haven't I? Mm. Splashy. Stay there, don't do anything. I've got golden apple. Right. There we go. I made the noise. Now he's shaking like a shitting dog. You, well as a man, can see the magic happen. Now let him fizz. He starts to jizz and then he pulls out. It's coming for me. It's gonna chase me around the room a little bit. You're supposed to be transforming. Come on, transform. Become a real boy. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. This is when VJ starts going, something's gone wrong. Way wrong. We can jump. Just stand still, mate. Accept your inevitable fate. change. We've got other things to do. Like playing with Desh, making cryo chambers. 
ships. We can make respawn points on distant lands. Is it or is he just stuck? Oh no, he's just stuck. Oh. Why oh, almost killed me then? Oh, there he goes. He's done. He's done, and he's still wearing... Where's he doing? Don't you dare go out. Not now we're friends. Oh, what a shit trade this one does. Fuck me, look at the state of this. Four emeralds for a leather tunic. You suck as well. You can go in there with your brother. What absolute trash. You're so dumb, you're trying to go outside in the middle of acid rain. Go that way, 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 go that way. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. The only thing good about you is the fact you've got this different jacket on. No! That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. No, there are both out. They are both out now. Huh. He's gone out in the poison rain. Do you know what? You guys can just go up. Yeah, hey, that's right. Come back in again. Stupid. He's quick. Why is he so fast? Right, both of you get in there. See, this is going to be a, a mission. Uh, let us. Right, what's the recipe again? That's the gate. Let's do it like this. Parkour. 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 Pushy, pushy. Pushy. We will inch them over. There we go. They're trapped. They cannot escape now. Go nowhere, mate. And that is the way of it. A 
and then a name. How do we make the name tag again? Name tag. Oh, you can't make them, can you? I don't think I've got a second one. Do I have a second one? Breed them, and it's burger time. Uh, oh, I've got 17 leathers here as well. I went triple cheese for you. Where did you get your burgers from, mate? Tell me more about these here burgers. I want to know everything there is to know about burgers, especially the cheesy ones. Philly Burger. Uh, is that Burger King? I got some slice. I got some slices, cheese, and cheese sauce. Three smash burgers. Everything you're saying right now is uh, is happy stuff. Local place here, okay. Uh, I make my own uh, smash burgers these days. I learned the magic of uh, of. I mean, it's not, it's not really magic, but uh, I learned the ways. So now I do them from home. I had, I had them the day before yesterday. They were very tasty. I had a great time, even without the cheese. Right, that, that, and then we want our deshi stuff, I forget to eat. I smash the burgers in my mouth. That's the best way to smash them. Right, let's do this. Let's do this, baby! Bed in the middle. That goes there, that goes there. We've got a cryogenic chamber, left shift for info. Uh, will allow a player to sleep during the day, healing a small amount of health, but it has a cooldown. We're all right with that. I'm all right with that. And I'm going to want to make, I think, that redstone <clears throat> furnace and bring that to Mars with us. Because then we don't have to keep hot, hot spotting back and forth. Hot swapping, hot spotting. How do you power this boy as well? Um, I think it's just, I think you can just use redstone to power it. Which would be a smart thing to do because it's, um, it's, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Yeah, there's loads of that stuff down there. As well as coal. It's all these boards. So, bricks. I think I have some bricky poos somewhere. Should be in here. Yep. Two of those. And then... And then... It is a machine frame basic. So, iron around the outside, tin gear in the middle, and some glass. So, that's tin with iron. We have that. Have iron, we have tin, and more tin. So one in the middle, one, two, three, and four. That's the tin gear. And then it was uh, a glass frail, reinforced, resonant. Basic. Uh, so glass and iron. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the tin gear in the middle. That's the machine frame basic. Basic B. Uh, and then we need a redstone reception coil that is easily made with a smidge of this and a little bit of that and then we need two copper gears hmm, this could be our downfall because I've got two pieces of copper there uh, five pieces of copper there I think I'm one short not to worry I've got some copper ores process RL quick 
what was that? One, two, three, four. Just double check it is copper gears I'm supposed to be making. Yes, it is. One. Two. That should be all we need to make this guy. Oh, wait, need another bit of redstone. Redstone furnace. So you're coming with us. And then it was um, jetpack, wasn't it? Uh, Galactic Galaxy. So we need two compressed meteoric irons, two hydrogen pipe, a battery, heavy duty jest plate, and this stuff. So the canister, if I'm not mistaken, is a bum bum, but we've got it. So we need two of those. One tin canister. I've got compressed tin. I've got the glass. I need another canister. That's fine, so we can do that. Uh, compressed tin. Is that it? No. Just thinking we might as well do this now before we go back. Oh, compressed steel at the top. Do we have any of that left? but I can make it. No, I can't because I've run out of coal. Got one piece of coal. I need two pieces. No, I need four pieces of coal. Oops. We need coal, people. I've got 12 minutes left. I really wanted to go back and try this thing out. Um, we've got coal up there though. Oh, but we need to be able to turn that into steel. Steel here. No, but I've got this already. That's a that's a thing we need. And hydrogen pipes are copper ingots like that. Can do that. I just need a touch of coal. Where is it? Is there some around the base? It's going to be one of those situations where we need something so we never find it. Oh, I know where there'll be some. In the, in the crater. For sure. Some right here. All right, we've got the stuff. We've got it, VJ. Will we be able to make it back with the jetpack in this episode? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Imagine us being able to jetpack next time. Two, one, two, you make me my things, please. Oh. 
What's wrong here? What am I doing wrong? That? What? Oh, okay, like that. Yep, yep. Like this. Like this. Like that. So two of those. Which we can fill up with fuel, no problem. And then two of those are fine. Uh, that thing, though, needs compressed steel hoop. That's the hydro hydrogen pipes. I don't know if we've got the iron. We can compress that though, unless we've already got some. Yeah, we do. Two of those. Um, iron. I've put iron. I've got iron over here, but I have no lava. Got a little bit here. I need to make a bucket. All these perils. What's that? Compressed tin. Dash. Let's put away what we don't need to have with us. Dash can stay. Tin can stay. Aluminium ore can stay. Coal can go up. Iron can go up. How many did we say we needed? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, we really need to get some uh, lava. Uh, closest lava is this way. Come on in, why not? Come on in and meet the edge of my sword. Thank you for all the uh, skins of your friends. I will take them. Sit down here. Amazing how little lead we've had to use in this playthrough. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Where is the lava? I think it's just over here. So backpacks off. And then it's lava in. Might as well overdo it. Oh, that was wrong. So this backpack will double down as a light source. There we go. Shift, smash. Back on my back it goes. And up, up, up the ziggurat. How did you get in here? Oh, 
We never made Castle Greyskull, did we? Look at this place. Let's miss this. this uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Lister, sir. I think I need to go and get more oil as well. I have a funny feeling that oil is... Uh, we're going to need to refine more... More fuel, right? Let's check how we are doing. So we've got a bit of fuel in the loader, but we have none left in the refinery. So yes, I need to go and get more oils now. It never ends, does it? The constant need for things. And it's usually this time, it's three minutes to one, uh, where I start rushing and then doing something stupid. but I didn't. Skeletons. Get dark. Running back to base. Iron, are you done? I have some. It's a bit more we can add to it. So let's quickly process this. Real quick. Go away, skeleton. I'm not in the mood. It's one o'clock. We haven't got time to muck about. No. So we've got iron. Sleep. I need to compress some of you guys. And I need to eat. One, two. You refine that. And that.
and that. You go up there. So you're filling up. One copper, sorry, one iron, two iron, what's left? Six ingots, process that, put the copper through. One, two, three, four, and five. And six. Thank you. Run back over here to the refinery. Have you finished? Not that one just yet. Oh, damn it. That's one. Fill up my other one. Aww. All right, you irons go in there with that one. You have compressed. And then I need to turn you into steel as quickly as possible. Go back here again. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. We need to make that, we've got that, we've got that. And then it's just a battery. We need one coal back. Boom goes the dynamite. Piece of redstone. Smash tin, we've got just enough smash tin. There's the battery, there's that, there's that, there's those. Uh, we just need the rest of that compressed steel. There it is. Right, so it goes heavy duty chest plate, filled canister, oh, the other filled canisters in the thing still. Go, go, go. I need to go. We got to go. We got to go now. <laughs> Have I got more copper in my pockets? Get out of here. Get to the copper. <laughs> And then get to the chapel. All right, let's try that again. So one, two, heavy aluminium, chest plate, and then it's batrazis at the top. One there, one there. What are we missing? Oh yeah. One and two. And that is the jetpack. Which has a durability of zero out of a hundred. Uh, what does that mean? Does that mean I need to charge it up? I don't think I can do that here. But I should be able to do that on Mars. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a day there. We have prepped for the next episode quite nicely, I think. Because we've got with us the redstone furnace. The cryogenic chamber. We've got this here jetpack we're taking with us as well. So on the next episode, we will carry on um, on Mars. We will look for uh, the dungeon using our jetpack. We will harvest all of the delights from the uh, chasm that we found, that alien chasm. 
and we'll put the cryo chamber up and we will hopefully not die in fact another thing i want to do before i leave is try and make one more space suit so that'll be another thing we will do on the next episode guys thank you ever so much for being with us today 